Hello, I'm Chris Griswold. Thank you for joining me. Uh, a lot of people are currently buying and selling homes or leasing homes. And the purpose of this month is to quickly explain residential warranties that I've been seeing uh, in these purchase sale contracts and some larger homes that I've been involved with, million up, that sort of stuff. Um, basically, I'm seeing stuff in there, usually from, from, from a seller or a home builder, that disclaims warranties, warranty of habitability, warranty of merchantability, warranty of fitness for a particular use, there's some others, they're implied. Whether or not they're written in the contract or not, that means they actually apply and then by law they are available to a buyer. They're all consumer and so they're all usually thrown into these contracts, but the one that's really relevant is the warranty of habitability. The other two, merchantability and fitness for a particular purpose, that's really more consumer goods, you know, like a car or uh, a good or a product that you'd buy at the store. Real property, uh, involves a warranty of habitability. That's something that a buyer or a tenant can later put their teeth into uh, for a remedy should the home prove to be uh, const uh, defectively constructed. So don't give that up too cheaply. Have a great month. Bye-bye.